as I said, looking at Steve's sorted list of domain name servers from fastest down to slowest, I see what I want to see. This is what you want to see. The, DN the domain name server you are actually using should be the fastest one in the list. In my case, I happen to know that I'm always using my own router for domain name services. Its IP address is 192.168.10.1 and it has sorted to the top of the list. Now my router is not a powerful domain name server. All it is doing is it is relaying domain name requests and answers out to other servers that it knows about. When I talk to my router, I find it is programmed to use other domain name servers that I knew of and configured uh, their good fast ones. And because I chose good and fast ones, my router appears to look uh, appears to his benchmark as the fastest and best domain server. This is what you want to see. If your router is used for domain services and sorts somewhere in the middle of the list or at the bottom of the list, then you can really make things better by talking to your router and telling it about the servers at the top of the list. This is what you want to see. Your router or the domain name server that you are using in your PCs at or near the top of the list. Now there are various ways to look at this sorted list. We've already talked about this button that says show uncached. By clicking this button I can alternate the view so that when I'm seeing only the cached queries, the view is uh, more sensitive to time and I can more accurately see the small differences in the most important queries. These are the cached queries. What that means is that most of the queries for domain names are going to be uh, popular queries that are probably already known to the server. Because it's a known uh, query, the server should respond faster. And because that's the most popular kind of thing, this is a very important metric. So by seeing just the cached queries, we can carefully sort them and see how, how close and similar many of these guys are. And we can avoid the ones that take a long time to respond with a cached query. Alternatively, if I turn this button on to show the uncached queries, I can see three different measurements for each domain name server. One is red, one is green, and one is blue. And if I left click here, I can get a decode of what that means. The red one is the cached query. The green one is for an uncached query. He asked for something that he knows cannot be in the cache. I think he made it up. The blue one shows a lookup for a dot com, something that is going to be findable um, through a search. What we want is for the cached the uncached and the dot com lookups to have a nice balance and find the quickest ones. Welcome to all of our YouTube viewers. If you are using YouTube to watch these clips, it can be difficult to find the next one in the proper sequence. Please come visit us at askmrwizard.com where we have the online technology magazine organized to make it really easy to find these in context along with related text, images, and discussions.